Hello, side questing tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we found out that we've sort of plowed through the main quest at a pretty good speed, and it does feel like at this point in the game, uh, we're kind of set to go to the final dungeon, which should be Dargard Keep. And we have probably all we need to enter it, although I still don't know the link between Ariella's Key and the Graveyard to get to Dargard. But, the voice in the woods, the spirit in the woods in Voicewood, they did mention first, I don't know how they would possibly know, but Ariel is key and Denisa is the key, is the key to getting into Dargard. Why? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, these episodes, so every, every stream we record, like I'm recording locally right now for the future tubers, they're listening in, and uh, we upload like half hour to 60 minute chunks usually as episodes. Just like usual. That's that's the plan. Anyway, for now, side quests before we go to the final area. So, no one really told us to go to Throttle. But, uh, you know, it's here. It's close to Dagard, or not Dagard. It's close to Gargath, our opening position. And, uh, this was a town in Champions. So, a priest of Takisi stands before you. I am Lesseter, ruler of this keep. Prepare for your induction to Soth's undead army. Struggle or submit, it will make no difference. So we, like, liberated this whole town back in the first game. In fact, this was the first dungeon in Champions of Kryn. Well, this is my town, so we're taking it back. An unfortunate, though entertaining decision, Lesseter retreats to the east as his minions attack. And they get a ambush round, which is really bad, but nobody got hit. Never forget white strain your levels. So the quickest way will be to try to turn them. Alright, and we're good. <laughs> we can't turn the, uh... You know what? We're just gonna go with people who have Mace of Disruption. That's their job to kill these guys. Delay. Oh, so much damage. That's a lot of damage. Remember when I was always frustrated fighting these uh, skeleton warriors because they had so much HP and took so long to kill? Well, times there a chain. Alright. So, throttle. I wonder if the map... It actually looks the same as Champions of Krynn. Uh... There should be the top right, northeast, will be locked off a little. The quarter section of the map on the northeast will be locked off. And we'll have to go all the way up and then west and down to get to that section. But I'll, I'll explore it the same direction we explored it last time, which was going uh, east first. Lesseter guards cover his retreat. Also, he went this way, so it you know, kind of made sense. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Oh boy, zombie minotaurs. Well, this is a great time for us to have a bunch of Mace of Disruptions. Totally legitimately obtained. No cheating here. Uh, not a lot of... Well, the Minotaurs would take damage from fire. We can fireball them. Oh, I did... Future Tubers, I did test out on the Skeleton Warriors if Ice Storm would work. Because technically Ice Storm is supposed to deal physical damage. But because it's still magical damage, rather than elemental fire or lightning, they're still immune to it. So, you can't even get away with something like that. This would technically get all of the skeletons, but it won't. Alright, so we halfway killed all the minotaurs. That'll save us a bit of time. I guess... In this scenario, we want to go maces. Because they're all skeletal. Well, maybe the longsword works on them. I mean, it seems to do good damage. We'll do a little bit of melee combat or a little bit of uh, non-magical combat. We'll save our uh, some of our spell charges for more difficult encounters. Okay, it looks like zombie minotaurs, because they're zombies, they don't take half damage from bladed. Oh, 
But, uh, you know, the Mace of Disruption is still better. Oh, also you can just turn them. My experience! See you later, Rob. Have a great night. Alright, so he ran off the punk. There's a couple little doors here. Monsters ambush you. They do not ambush me. We ambush them. Uh, so against large enemies, if you want to lose a little bit of armor class, you can go two-handed weapons. Do a little bit more damage. I'm actually not sure if the Dragon Lance does bonus damage to large enemies, the way uh, Longsword does. It might. It might not. Oh, you can't go any further. The thing is, typically I want to have that shield equipped because it's... Oh, I didn't even... I just punched him, basically. 20 damage per hit? I don't know, that seems like normal, not any bonus damage to me. But yeah, these Mace of Disruptions are really good against these stupid skeleton warriors. Given just how difficult they are to kill. The problem with quick battle is we just turned them all so we don't get any experience. I was just thinking, you know, I want to use just slings automatically. You found the Throttle Vault! I didn't know for sure that was here, but I knew there was a room that had a... This was the safe sleeping room back in the uh, Champions game. Well, we got some money, and um, probably magic bow. It's not a lot, but I'll just leave the steel, it's too heavy, and uh, I guess it's probably magic arrows and a magic bow. Well, we'll get them identified. I almost never use bows, but it's fine. We even imported like 50 plus one arrows from the last game for everybody. Okay, that was the loop. And that was the second of those rooms. Wait a second, undead dragons? And they get a bonus round? 139 damage. Next round, Eren's gonna kill two of them. So you guys just focus on the middle one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Kill him? And kill him. Okay. Aw, oh, dragon lances. And also Mace of Disruptions. Undead dragons are definitely the easiest dragons. They don't have a breath attack. They're weak to Mace of Disruption. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that. Too easy. Like I said, you probably could have come to this dungeon a lot earlier. Maybe I should have come here before the dragon pit, honestly. But, I wanted my dragon lance, so. The walls are in eerie black. Black canvas shields the western archway. Charging monsters tear out of the canvas. What do we got? A whole bunch of skeletal warriors and minotaurs. Okay, probably should just keep that shield on most of the time, though. Just so we don't take too much damage. So, I'm going to try to do this dungeon without a lot of using encampment to heal or, or uh, restore spells. Because it's kind of an easy dungeon, I'm going to try not to take advantage of the uh, gimmicky mechanics that you can take advantage of, basically. We're going to do a lot more combat here than maybe normal. I think we're still kind of crazy overpowered, but... Uh, Yeah, I think it'll feel a little bit nicer this way. So there's still some challenge. Because theoretically, we could just recharge all of our health between every battle, and uh, fireball all the skeletons or just turn them all, which is kind of gimmicky too. 
Well, gimmicky. It's a mechanic. Alright, kicking butt. So, because I'm planning on not uh, just using uh, auto heal, we'll throw some uh, light wounds, cure light wounds every now and then. Oops, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 don't just fireball the party pixel. Oh man, now I remember why I never use cure light wounds for anything. Okay, good enough. I guess you could think of this as, what was that spell in 5th uh, edition, that sort of modern D&D? There's a spell that like, it's like uh, using a first aid kit, it, like, it's like clerics get it as like a free action or something, I forget the name of it, but like, it brings them back off of the, the death saving throw phase, so they're back up to like 1 HP or whatever and they can fight again. It's like, Cure Light Wounds, that's all it does in this version of the game too. It's it's. If someone's dying, you just use that. Otherwise, it doesn't heal them enough to matter. It was fine in level 1 and 2, but at this point, you know, 1 HP, what does it matter? Enemies are hitting us for like 20 or 30 at a time. Alright, continuing. Some priests and some zombie minotaurs. Well, the priests are a little bit dangerous, because they, uh... They're likely to have uh, something like uh, Slay Living. Come on, hit him. There we go. You can't disrupt ma mages or clerics. But they still take damage from it all the same. But yeah, the priority is always spellcasters. You don't get this far not knowing to interrupt spellcasting. There we go. Aw, turned undead again, accidentally. <laughs> now, I don't expect the zombie minotaurs are worth all that much experience, but... Because we're not destroying them. Maybe I should try Tim's turn on dead. He might be able to destroy them by now. Uh, that's just the cleric armor. Wait. If that's non-magical plate mail. It's non-magical plate mail! So, okay. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Rob currently has minus two armor class. He now has minus four armor class. Now, he loses out on three movement, but by having non-magical, it now works with the ring. And that's a nice little bonus. Okay. We'll just leave the rest of garbage. A crude carving on the door reads, Beastmaster. A priest stands before you. Lesser told me to expect you. <laughs> I'll try not to damage your bodies too severely. You know, they should really just give up at this point. Even if they get six corpses, like, what can they turn us into? Six... six skeletons? We're not giants, so they're not giant skeletons. Six skeleton warriors, or six... whites, or something? I don't know. We've killed, like, dozens and dozens and dozens of their undead. It's not gonna net them any benefit by getting six more. Seven if you count Durfee. Uh-oh. We're not uh, turning them very well today. Thanks, Tim. Alright. Done. <laughs> uh, we still have Detect Magic on, so we can actually ID stuff a little easier. Alright, well that was the Beastmaster. Next. You see signs of new construction. Yeah, this wall was not here last time. They changed it. Dead bodies litter the intersection, and then they rise. A priest steps forth. Ah, uh, you're still... You are formidable opponents. Still, we are without number. 
and you have no hope. The thing is, they're not without number. There is a limit to how many of them, you know, they can create. And there is a lot of them in this room, so... I will respect them and give them fire. That's a lot of baddies. This is my form of respect. I throw two fireballs at you. And then we turn whatever survives. So whites have low enough HP that we just we just destroy them if we hit them. have that good AC. Two armor class? People with like three or four Thacko should very... I mean, they miss sometimes, but they should not miss very often. That's one, two, three, four sets of uh, priest gear. We'll just leave it. Okay, so that was an intersection. I assume this takes us back to the beginning. The door is heavily barred. A sigil signifying danger is burned into the center. Interesting. A uh, dismembered hobgoblin corpse. Dismembered hobgoblin corpses adorn the room. They're too deteriorated to become undead. This is just the garbage pit, I guess. A knight's body lies crumpled here in a pool of holy water. His last act was to sanctify his body from the touch of evil. What a noble knight. You've alerted the guards, well. Honestly, if they didn't notice that we're at that uh, the forces of good are here, it's their own fault at this point. Good. Uh, just quick throw rock. Guards. 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 Quick. Honestly, at this point, just quick battle is fine. I don't like sending everyone to quick battle mode, usually. But I think my guys will be smart enough in this scenario. And we've killed many skeletal knights, so... Nope. They still switch to their bow that does no damage. Oh, why would you guys switch and use your magic arrows on enemies that take no damage from arrows? Just can't get past bad AI. Maybe they think this is a better bow than this bow. Let's see, Thaco 6. So it's a bow plus 2, I guess. Whatever, that's not good enough. And a short bow plus three, that's nice and all, but you know you have a mace of disruption, right? <laughs> it's fine for my sling users to sling rocks around, but let's not use arrows on skeletons. The guards of the inner sanctuary are ready for you. But are they really? Would you really say they were prepared? There 
seeming fairly dead to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I keep... I've got this Dragon Lance equipped. Oh, he auto switch. See, that's... <laughs> they go to quick battle mode and they just mess with my inventory. There's a reason you had the mace equipped with a shield, dude. Because you're fighting skeletons, mostly. You discover untold riches! How, min how much is it? 1,500 bucks. So much riches, I don't even care about it. There's no items. <laughs> That's not that much money, game. You see a dilapidated stable. Warriors emerge and nightmares emerge. Okay, it's kind of exciting, a little bit different. It's a fair number of horses. We'll send them. Uh, we'll send them a greeting. Oh, we've only got one more lightning bolt on uh, Drow ready to go here. We'll hold off for now. What a lovely herd of nightmares! Yeah. Oh, I can't quite target what I want to target too far away. We're going to miss out on, like, half of the nightmares. Dang it! Oh, I can target here. Oh, I still misses them. We just don't have quite enough range for what I wanted to do. Well, we got a couple of them at least. And besides, the horses are fast. They'll be up here in no time. Now, the, the nightmares should not count as undead, I don't think. Yeah, everyone just unequip their cool weapons. Stupid auto battle. Yeah, no bonus damage. So you would actually want to go with your regular higher damage weapons against them then. In this scenario. Wish I could reorganize here. I probably, what I could do is like trade items around so that the two weapons were closer together. It would take some, maybe I'll do it between episodes one day. Just so that I can switch between weapons a little bit quicker. Rather than having to search around and try to figure out where everything is. If all my weapons were side by side in my inventory. That'd be nice. And not different for every single character. Alright, back to mace mode, I suppose. Especially when you've got a fancy mace. Actually, there's a reason to kill the, uh... The nightmares first. The nightmares have that uh, blinding smoke area of effect. Suddenly we take a whole bunch of damage out of nowhere. Back attacks are... They must have a pretty good modifier to hit. Alright, 4000 XP. Let's try to do a little bit of healing here. Come on, 51 to 53. Well, we do have some bigger heals, I suppose. 53 to 67. 14. That was pretty good on a Cure Serious Wounds.
53 to 69, another decent roll. 69 to 81 is decent. 67 to 71 is not amazing. So now that we're getting to a higher level, we are getting enough charges of high level healing that we can heal up some HP, but it still takes a lot of luck. You know, there's no guarantee we get good rolls on these. We could roll three, like, every time, which would be pretty unlucky, but... Anyway, looks alright. Probably a good point to save, just, you know, as we finish exploring. Okay, and that should be everything on the south side of the map. Now we have to go north through this... this part. And then we probably won't be able to get to the northeast without a secret key. A mysterious glyph is carved in the wall. You cannot decipher it. So, for now, we're going to have to go through this side, like same as last time. It's a nice little callback to the first game. A woman jumps out, brandishing a staff. Uh, she peers at you suspiciously. Uh, you do not have the look of Soth's minions. I'm Sarah, priestess of Meshackle, the great healing Meshackle. Uh, you must help me recover my companion, Sir Michael. We were ambushed and I was badly wounded. Sir Michael led them away to the north. I was then able to heal myself. She joins your ranks. Let's get going. Now, if you remember in Champions of Crin, it was around this point where a certain unnamed fighter joined us and told us to head on down to safety. And spoiler alert, he was not a friend. We'll see if this uh, Sarah turns out to be another Faco. No! How much? That wasn't that bad. Slay, you, whew, slay living. I thought if it hit, just takes you down to one. It just kills you. Like you're just dead. It's like power. It's like you just die. And we had no chance to uh, interrupt at that time. So. Uh, alright, we're not getting good turn order today, uh, no. We need to get rid of these whites before we get level drains. And we need... Maybe we can flame strike the last one? Flame strike's pretty cool. Uh, we can probably hoopack the last one. Could have magic missile, I guess. So flame strike, you know, we haven't really used this much. 32 damage, just bam, dead. Pretty fun. That was a really good roll on the flame strike, to be fair, but still. It's a good spell. It's only got a range of six, so it's not super long range or anything, but. Sarah urges you onward. Hurry! Lest evil befall Sir Michael by our inaction! Quickly! Run forward with no regard to your own safety! to save Sir Michael. A recent battle has been partially cleaned up. Bodies have been mounded into two piles. One marked yes, the other marked no. The bodies in the no pile are badly damaged and unfit for conversion to undead. Guards rush towards you. What do we get this time? Bunch of same as the same as same as. Same old, same old is what we get. No turning? For shame. We're just gonna make a little bit of a line here and then let them come a bit closer, I think. Just because some of my guys are kind of slow. Turn. Oh, you can only turn once per battle, that's right. I should try to go for some more backstabs. The backstabs work really well on the Skeletal Knights as well. Okay, we got our defensive formation. Sadly, we did not have enough attacks saved up. I wonder if that would count as a backstab. Probably not. Oh, I totally did! It's really hard to set up ranged hits that turn into backstabs because the angles are very hard to figure out. But that's how you do it if you're going to do it. 
Neato. Usually I only rely on physical hits turning into backstabs, but... Pixel is, again, taking a bunch of heat. Does Pixel have, like, worst armor class or something? Or just personal bad luck? Okay, another quick battle. Pixel's got negative seven. That's our second, not counting Derpy, second best. Well, we're running out of healing spells. I like to keep a coupled emergency for in battle heals. But you can see what happens when we uh, don't use the fix commands. Okay, that was cure critical wounds. Level five spell. Healed 7 HP, as much as a cure light wounds. Let's try one more. Come on, 50 to 62, not very good. Critical wound spell needs some work. Oh, come on game, we're in the middle of a dungeon, it's not time for this nonsense. Ten, eight encounters as NPCs. Thanks, game. Breaking up the pace. Alright. So, this room was trapped last time we were here in Champions. And this was also trapped. Lesseter stands before a makeshift altar, surrounded by his minions. At his feet lies a young knight. Oh, maybe it wasn't a trap. Sarah whispers, That's Sir Michael! Disrap distract this rabble, I'll heal him! The evil priest squares his shoulders and intones. Takizi gives us the strength to destroy those who would defile our temple. The air grows more oppressive as his forces surge forward. Turn undead. And don't get killed by priests. Turn undead. Is there only the one? Okay. Probably could have just killed it then. Interrupt casting. That was not how you interrupt a spellcaster. Okay, there's one that's not interrupted yet. Emergency magic missile. Good timing. Ah! Uh... Another nice way to interrupt them is with burning hands. Needs to be interrupted again, though. All right, and we're good. I guess there's a bit of lyrics in this one, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't bother me too much. I think the worst is when it's like English lyrics that interrupt my own brain trying to commentary. The further they are from decipherable language, the less it bothers me. But yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Rap is perfect then. Yeah. Perfect. Undecipherable. <laughs> in the confusion, Sarah reaches the knight. Ignoring the cuts and scrapes she receives in the swirling melee, she begins a quiet chant. In a moment, Sir Michael stirs, now unmuted. She has the heal spell! Teach me! Teach me, Sarah. I must learn the power of the heal spell. That's what I need right now. His eyes open, and he lifts himself on one elbow. His eyes show concern. Oh, are you all right, Sarah? And she smiles and nods. She turns to you. Thanks for your aid. I'm just impressed this was not an ambush. We can now do what we came here for. We will fortify this keep against evil. You will always be welcome here. May all your journeys be safe. 
Is this... Is that it? Is this place now fortified against evil? I just had to go to that room. Well, we're gonna finish exploring, of course, but... That might have been it. The remains of battle. There's really only one cleric and one knight left alive. I'm not sure they're gonna be fine. So this was a hall of scrolls last time. I was hoping we might get some more scrolls this time. This room contains six bunks. Symbols of Takisi adorn the wall. I turned search mode on and immediately found some garbage, but still, I so rarely turn search mode on. You might not even believe that I'm not following a guide. But it made sense because, you know, this is a callback to Champions of Crit, and this room had treasure in it if you searched. And this was the ambush right there. And then traps were over here. Okay. Cool, cool. The <laughs> blue sus. Hmm. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Ah, oh, but there's undead dragons. Or are they? Oh, I forgot to equip the thing. Dang it. I got this cool dragon lance and I just forgot it wasn't equipped. You can't turn undead dragons. Silly mages. Yeah, the place here is totally safe. There's nothing bad going on. That one cleric with a nearly dead knight will be fine against hordes of undead dragons. Like, they don't even have a dragon lance. How are they going to deal with this? Well, goodbye. <laughs> we didn't even need to use the dragon lance on that last one. Alright, bit of experience. Killed some more dragons. Now, this was approximately where we rescued uh, somebody. <laughs> I forget the guy's name last time. I don't think this was Sir Carl, was it? No, somebody else. Drell, fine. For the first time in the Crin Saga, our thief finds a trap before we stand on it, right? The door is trapped. Disarm, please. You are ambushed by priests shouting, Kill the infidels! Well, hey. At least we didn't get hit by the trap. But we still got ambushed, so we were all dead. We're not ambushed. If they had a free round of combat, we would be dead. Eight clerics with high-level spells, like hold person at least, but more likely slay living and stuff. They would slaughter us. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my town. Boing! <laughs> Don't worry, it's not gonna hit him. It only goes eight tiles after you cast it. So one, two, three, four, hits the wall, five, six, seven, eight on the way back. Nothing to worry about. I don't get to use Lightning Bolt like that nearly as often as I would like, but it is a, such a fun spell. One of the few, like, positional spells that really you can get some uh, fun out of. Now we're going to take a back attack here to swipe another priest. Keep interrupting them. There's two left that have not been interrupted. And I'm going to hope that we hit this Hupak. Good. Now there's one. Thornum can't do much, and he's not going to be able to cast magic. I don't think we can get to that one on the left that's casting with Thornum in time. So uh, just kill the one next to you, I guess, and pray that he doesn't have a really bad spell queued up. Well... Let's 
possible. There is always a way, if you try. Yeah, we're using the magic arrows. Alright, come on, Thor. Yes! <laughs> Suckers. Okay, that... He doesn't even have a magic bow and he still managed to hit. Alright, I'm glad. That worked out pretty well. I, was, I feel pretty proud of that maneuver. Alright. They're all interrupted for the first turn, but that's... You know, it's just one turn. Of course, second round's much easier because there's fewer of them, and, uh, well, they're all dead now. Okay! Excellent, uh, excellent recovery there, Thornum. I'm pretty happy with that. We found some more money. Oh, we found a magic wand! Let's cast, uh, detect magic here. Add it to the wand pile. That's probably the only special item. Because everything else here is going to be cleric gear. Which is just regular stuff. Alright. Excellent. If we go through that door, it'll be one way. And that clears out this section. Okay, so. Oh wait, there was one thing we missed. There was a secret door on the bottom right section when we first went through in Champions. We might go back there. I want to see if this glyph opens now. Hmm. Because we needed a key to get through there last time. I wonder if uh, Sarah and her knight are still in the same spot. Let's go check on them. No. Well, I know one more location that might be worth checking, and at that point I don't know how to get- I don't know if we can get to the top right anymore. So this room had a secret door. Looks like there's nothing here, though. Hmm. Well, we might be done. You know, we did the Sarah thing. Let me, uh, check in the guide if there's anything else obvious. Maybe there's a way to get to the top right, maybe there's not. But I don't want to waste half an hour just randomly bumping into walls. So we're looking for throttle keep. You can see here in the guide, this was meant to be done fairly early. So the fact that we just stomped through, you know, we're at a pretty high level compared to what this might have been meant for. Maybe you were expected to go back to throttle because you remembered it from the last game. Looks like you can't get up here anymore, maybe. So, we were supposed to hear somewhere, I don't know if there was a rumor or something, but the party was supposed to learn that Throttle Keep was overrun by an evil priest named Lannis Lesseter, not Lannister, using it as a haven, trying to help Lord Zoth. There are no random encounters, and you can just rest wherever you want, which is kind of nice, honestly. Probably a good, like, I took this map to be a map where I didn't use any free healing, and I didn't need to. <laughs> this was the one where we could have we could have rested up anywhere for free, even though it, you would never have guessed. Anyway, I think I went everywhere, so there can't be much more to talk about. They're all just uh, trap tiles. Every encounter is a guaranteed encounter. Just once. Huh. Okay. Well. I would, uh, I would recommend, if I was replaying this one, that we do this dungeon a little earlier. Because any dungeon you can... How much did we pay for this clue book? Because I want a refund. You guys saw this, right? Oh, it didn't say rest could be interrupted. I thought it said rest would not be interrupted. <laughs> I want a refund anyway. I want my money back.
You write a letter to SSI. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll expect a response in, in next week. Post haste. Skeletal Knights, no problem. Well, at least we get decent experience in here. Anyway, I just want to heal up quick. I don't care about my spells, it's fine. We didn't cast much spells. Okay, so that's uh, Throttle Keep. I assume somewhere in the game, if you talk to people at the bars or... I, I mean, I don't really know. Assumedly, at some point, they would have suggested you go back here. Or you would have just explored it and been like, Oh, my town that I liberated is been taken over by punks so then you clear it anyway we'll call that an episode well a little bit shorter episode for this one just because we wrapped up an entire dungeon next time we'll start heading to the west and visit some of those other locations in the valley um we'll head west first and then up to the north after we clear the west but there's gonna be something in here something in here something over here something here i think there's something in here and maybe something up this way we'll see Anyway, future tubers, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.